Corn Planet Brad, Mike, back to you. Yo, yo, yo. So, yeah, talking about, you know, relationships just made me think of family, right? And then that really brought to mind the business side of it because I have a network group that I've met with for over 15 years. We meet weekly in person and exchange referrals, do the 20-second infomercials, all that stuff. And that group has really become my second family. I mean, I say it all the time at the meeting. It's like, this is our wealth family. We, this group right here is taking care of our family family because we're exchanging over a hundred thousand dollars that end up in our bank accounts every single year through the referrals. So I'm going to take that one step further, which is my life mission that I've been working on. And this is like my nucleus of existence is the business family. And that is just the people that we touch in the world. And whatever we're doing right now to generate income and money to provide for our lifestyle, I mean, that that gives us success. When we are good at what we do, we feel good. We want to, people want to help people they know, like, and trust. People want to work with the people they know, like, and trust. So delivering great service and being success, which we've been talking about this throughout the week. Uh, I mean, I've heard Tony, I just can hear Tony's voice where, you know, what is your self-worth? And if you don't take care of yourself and live a great life, then you're doing a disservice to the rest of the world. Well, everyone in here, no matter what it is you do, somebody needs what you have and what you do and your, your encouragement and the four different friends that Christopher just talked about, all that stuff. Somebody needs that and needs us in their life. And when we take care of ourselves and we can pay our bills and live a nice lifestyle and enjoy life, then we can give back even more. So when I, the reason why I say this, <clears throat> we all have everyone already in our grasp that we maybe are not in relationship with. We have a l list of people. Look at your Facebook friends list. Write this down. Write down the number of people in your Facebook friends list. So when you go to your friends list, there will be a number. It shows you how many Facebook friends you have. Now, I'm using that term lightly because you might have just been clicking through and just accepting everybody. There is a reason why they showed up in Facebook and you clicked, let's be friends. I'm not saying that that, that defines whether you're a friend or not. These people know you or you know them, one of the two, right? And then maybe you need to go through your list and take off the people you have no clue who they are or find out if you want to know who they are, right? Second thing is your cell phone. Go through your contacts list in your cell phone. In fact, if you have an iPhone, well, any of them, just you should be able to see how many contacts are in your cell phone. These are people that we've talked to, called us, we called them. Somehow we have crossed paths. They know who you are or you know who they are at some level. Now I'm going to ask, write down those numbers. You may see 1,000, you may see 2,000, you may see 5,000. How many of those people have heard from you in the last two weeks, three weeks? How many of those people have heard from you in the last six months or year? How many people have heard from you in the last five years? So it's about just reconnecting with the people we've already crossed paths with and not in a bulky way, but in a one-on-one, -on -one, five-a-day way. And it's... It's overwhelming at first because you can't get to everyone. And as soon as you see this list, you're going to feel bad. And if you just touch five a day, listen to these numbers. There's 20 people on stage right now. If all of us just picked up the phone and said, how are you? I realized I haven't heard your voice in a while and I wanted to check in. And we all did that with five people a day. Do you realize we would, we would touch 100 lives in this planet today? If we did that for five days straight, that would be 500 people a month. It'd be 6,000 people in a year, 60,000 people in the next 10 years that we would all touch just this stage right here with 20 people a day. So I would just challenge you to not get too caught up in this. Like it, forget about blast in bulk. My rule is I take five minutes, five minutes per human being that comes across my plate to just go look and see what's going on. Are they on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn? What have they been doing? Did there are pictures of them somewhere? Uh, find their address, find their phone number, pick up the phone and call them. I will spend up to five minutes per human being to research 
and find out information about them and then connect with them. So I do that five times a day. I got 25 minutes a day. I invest in finding information. And then when I make those reconnect calls, what a lot of people are challenged with is the reconnections. Of, I mean, it can be a 20, 30, 45 minute call, an hour call because we haven't connected before, but you'll never ever have that hour call again with that person. Once you get connected, now we're just staying in touch throughout the year. So that's that's my challenge, that's my nucleus, my life mission is to show people how simple it is just to touch lives every day. And it's just a little slide piece that takes maybe an hour a day and then you go back to doing your blast mailing, blast marketing, whatever it is you're doing. Just go back and do whatever you're doing, but just taking that one little piece every morning. <clears throat> Come on with it, Brad. I love that. You know, I have to say that um, Stephen Covey, who I think most of you know I had the opportunity to work with, he and Seven Habits in his book, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, also does something, and he has it as intentional relationship where you write down every role you are, every role that you are, mother, father, sister, brother, friend, aunt, cousin, daughter, you know, co-worker, and each week you assign a person that you're going to reach out to for each of those roles. And um, that was really eye-opening for me. I was in my 30s, young 30s, I think, when I first saw this. And I went, wow, I am so unconscious in my relationships. Like, I just was never that orderly or methodical or intentional or, you know, like really starting to manifest in a way the relationships that would really catapult me into the person that I am today. And so I really appreciate your system, Brad. I appreciate, you know, just how beloved people probably feel out of the way that you stay connected. And it, and it does have to be a system when you get to a certain strata of, of people, right? Uh, and so I love the system that you put in place so that no one feels offended. Of course, that's on them. Um, doesn't Eleanor Roosevelt say something about that? No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I think it's something like that. Someone can correct me because I'm just throwing that out there. But um, I, I think, you know, you are definitely one of these people on the planet that make other people feel abundant, feel cared for. Uh, and you definitely have a system for success. You know, I'm just going to. Yeah. And I'm going to add one thing here. here. When you start to do this, just understand <clears throat> I probably need to talk to 25 or 30 people a day because I'm at this level of awareness. It's impossible. It's never going to happen. But if I get to two of them or three of them today and not five, it's two or three way ahead of just like, well, that seems impossible. How am I going to call 6,000 people? And so you don't do it. So anyway, every little touch, it's that starfish story, you know when that little boy's throwing those starfish into the ocean and it mattered to that one, he can't save them all. So I try not to get caught up in that. It's like, I'm just living it, touching it. I mean, there's people on this stage I haven't talked to yet. You're on my list. I, I'm gonna get there one day. And there's many of you on this stage that you have gotten the call. So I just, I can't get caught up in that. I just do it every day. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm just, I, I, we could expand on that for a long time. I just wanna keep the mic moving in an effort